Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 16th, 16th or thereabouts. Keep in mind that the timing is really fluid. I find that these readings tend to ha have quite a, a little bit of a delay. There, it's like I do it, say I do it today, and then it plays out anywhere from tomorrow, today, tomorrow, then even up to a week later. I see that all the time. For example, I watched one last night that I had done a week ago. And it it fell in line with the one that I did yesterday. And it made complete sense. So you may want to watch one that was done a couple days ago. It may be happening now. Okay? These readings are not time specific. And they're not sign specific. So it may or may not be for you. This is a daily energy that I'm picking up on. Also, keep in mind that not every reading is for you. We'll get people that comment underneath that say something stupid. Obviously, the reading wasn't for you. There's another thing that I want to mention, and a lot of people aren't going to like this. So, um, I get comments. That's my man with his karmic. That's my man with his karmic. I can read the energy. Honey, that ain't your man. We're going to go ahead and get started. What do we got for today? What message do I need to deliver today for somebody? Seven of Swords. Deception. This could be self-deception. This is betrayal. And this is deception. Whether somebody is betraying you. Whether somebody is lying to you. Or you're lying to yourself. This is betrayal. The very first card. That is going to be the energy of this reading. Deception. Lies. Somebody is getting away with something. At least they think they are. They seem to be. Right? They seem to be. Very sneaky. Very. So we have some, some lies here. Somebody's lying. Somebody's not telling the truth. Ooh, yeah. Okay. But, but, somebody's about to take back control. Now, something's about to be shown. Somebody has been living in the shadows. You see the shadow here? Somebody has been living in the shadows. The shadow, the light is about to be shown on some sort of deception. And I think I, I probably just shown quite a few people the light. Whether they choose to see it or not, they want to continue to le live and live in the shadow. Well, that's a choice that you have to make. But this is taking back control. This is breaking change. This is chains. This is freedom. Freedom from toxicity. Freedom from an unhealthy situation. Mm, this isn't good news, is it? This isn't good news. It's not good news at all. It's not. Oh, we had a card that didn't get picked up. I'm not sure what it is yet. We'll come to this. But this is not good news. Somebody has been distracted by an unhealthy situation, by a toxic bond. Somebody has bad, been bound to a lie, be bound to a cheater, bound to something that was based on deception. Letting themselves be manipulated and controlled by a lie. It's funny that I said those words. Now this is the Page of Wands is somebody that 
uh, doesn't follow through, loses focus, acts impulsively, um, somebody that is very immature and does get distracted very easily. This person, it's like when they see something exciting, they just do it. They don't even think about it. Very uh, childish and immature and impulsive energy. So we have somebody here that has um, made a bad decision and it's not good news. Mm. Start losing hope. Somebody has lost hope. They don't believe. They don't believe. They feel hopeless in this situation. Somebody has been unable to find their confidence. It's like they have left. They have let the deceptive one, the cheater, the liar control them for so long. Somebody has. Somebody has let themselves be controlled by a lie. That is no kidding. Not realizing that rejection is protection. No kidding. They have not found their strength and their confidence to move forward. But, I mean, the Six of Wands is lack of confidence. Lack of self-esteem. Unable to take the lead. Holding on to a burden. Holding on to something that is too much. This is too much to hold on to. It's weighing you down. Somebody has been allowing themselves to be controlled and held down by something that is too heavy. It's too much. It's baggage. It's baggage. Somebody, um... has been in a state of despair by holding on to this cheater, this lie. Lack of progress. Partnership. Uh, uh, incompatible. No, it's not compatible. It's not. There's no, there's a disconnection. So we do have a disconnection here. And we have somebody here that is about to take back control. This is taking back control. This is breaking free, letting go of something that has held them down. A partnership. Somebody is, is releasing a partnership that has held them down for way too long. They are dealing with a very sneaky, shady individual who has been getting away with it for a long time. This person's been getting away with it. But the other person's been allowing it because they've been in a state of confusion. This is confusion. And they lacked self-confidence and self-esteem. You know, when you don't have self-esteem and you don't have self-confidence, well, you will absolutely let yourself be deceived because you don't know your value. You don't know your worth. You don't, you don't confident. So somebody's lack of confidence has kept them in a sit a hopeless situation, which what is a it's a complete lie. They've been living in the shadows. It's like now, now the light has been shown. It's like the light has come out. This partnership is not compatible. It's there's a disconnection. Um, somebody may receive a message from somebody who. Uh, gives them gives them a message. Somebody may receive a message with some from somebody that they don't really want to hear. It could be this person is nosy. This person uh, likes to cause problems, and they they tell a person something that gives. But you know, we need these kind of people in our lives once in a while. I'm not saying that this is a good thing, but these people can be catalysts. So we 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 may have somebody that a nosy person who gossips. This is a gossip right here. Um, this is definitely a gossip. Okay, this is a gossip who may tell somebody something about the partner that is deceiving them that gives the, the, that may, helps them to make the decision to break free. So somebody may hear something that is not good news about their partner that may have acted in a egotistical way, may have acted in a 
uh, lusty way or a greedy way. Somebody may have done something. They may have been tempted by another. Somebody else uh, hears about it and they tell the other partner that this person was cheating or this person is cheating or something like that. That could certainly be the case here. It's like we got somebody here who butts their nose in, spreads the word, and um, it's almost like a joke to them. It's almost like it's funny. This is this is funny. They tell the partner, and it gives the partner the strength to break break this bond. It's like I can't I can't hold on to this anymore. It's too much for me. This is this is the straw that breaks the camel's back per se. Okay, so somebody could receive news that you know really sends them over the edge. Um, now the tens are completions. This is the end of holding on to something that has been weighing you down. And this is the end of a relationship. It is. But there is an opportunity for happiness here. Somebody may feel hopeless. They may feel hopeless. They may, may feel like they're never going to find happiness. But after you break free and let go of the burden of the heaviness of the old relationship, there's an opportunity for happiness here. This is an unexpected fortune. This is an unexpected event or an unexpected celebration that comes after these were laid down first, a completion so yes, there's an opportunity for a commitment and happiness and happily ever after, after this ends. After this ends. Okay? Once somebody breaks the, the chains from the unhealthy situation, the un, unhealthy relationship, there's a new relationship that comes in. Okay? In the future. In the future. So, but you have to remove the restriction first. You have to see the truth. You have to be open to the truth. You've got to come out of denial. You can't avoid the truth anymore. You need to take the mask off and you have to accept the truth. You have to accept that there is no progress being made in the hopeless situation with the liar, the thief, the cheater, the unhealthy one. You have to accept that first to have the happiness that you are dreaming about, okay? To have your dreams come true, you have to be awake. You cannot be in denial. So yes, there's, a, there's an opportunity for a dream to come true in the future. But right now, there's no progress being made because somebody is restricting themselves, wearing a mask, holding on to a lie, holding on to deception. Because of codependent reasons. But... There is somebody here that is about to break free because this is freedom from freedom from a relationship, freedom from a partnership, freedom from burden. Dropping this burden brings you happiness. It will bring you a soulmate, but you have to do this first. You can't keep stalling. This is stalling. The six of wands reversed. You can't keep stalling. You've got to open your eyes, you've got to wake up, and you've got to accept it. You've got to accept the truth. This is coming out of a denial and seeing the truth. This is going nowhere. Somebody has been holding on to a lie, whether it's cheating or not. It's a lie. Somebody's been holding on to a lie. It doesn't have to be cheating involved. This is a lie either way you look at it. Somebody's been holding on. Holding on, see what's mirroring each other, holding on to a lie. And this holding on is causing so much burden that it's like this person is, is, is really losing hope, losing faith, in a state of despair. Um, am I ever going to be happy? Asking, it's like asking for answers. And it's like your angels are saying, you're not doing anything. You're in denial. Why? Why can't you see? Open your eyes. Come out of denial, please. There's an opportunity for happiness here. 
and we got somebody here that is going to deliver a message. Uh, a pe this person is very petty, very childish. Misery loves company. This person is miserable, and so, you know, when they can bring another person down, great, great. So that's what we got here. We have a a, a person that is going to say something just to basically hurt another person, and it hurts. It's going to hurt. Six of Swords, but it's gonna it's Six of Swords reversed. It's gonna help this person to uh, make that move. It is. Somebody has been reluctant to take a new approach. They've been staying in a troublesome situation, and somebody's gonna receive a message that really it basically shoves them off the shore. Whew. Goodbye. somebody been dealing with a player and this is a dead end somebody who has been blocking blocking a relationship a relationship they have by not starting over by not taking the steps that they need to take somebody has been, allowed themselves to be played or they've been playing another person for codependent reasons, for all the wrong reasons. Materialism, assets, greed. But there's no compatibility here. There's no love here. It's, it's one-sided love either way. It's just not, it's not good. It's not good. So somebody's been living a lie. That's the energy of the day. And it's like Pluto energy says okay we're gonna we're it's time it's time for you to go it's time for you you to break f break free from these chains it's time for you to get out of this cage it's time for you to fly it's it, it is it's time for you to drop this weight it's time for you to drop this baggage it's time for you to find your happiness but the only way you're going to find your happiness is, is if you find your moral backbone to do the right thing and drop this you have to you know that you do but somebody's low self-esteem and low self-confidence is is keeping them restrict to re restricting themselves, and they're protecting. There's protection here. This is a card of protection. This is a card of protection. Self-protection, subconsciously protecting themselves, probably from getting into another relationship because the last one hurt them so bad. So I'm just gonna. I don't want to be alone. You know, I don't want to be alone. So I'm gonna hold on to this, even though this person doesn't love me or I don't love them. And I'm going to hold on to it because I have fear of being alone. So somebody is holding on to something that is completely based on a lie because I don't want to be alone, whether it could go either way. It's time to go. It is time to go. So somebody is about to put themselves in the driver's seat and get the hell out of a situation. So be prepared. Somebody is about to get behind the wheel and get their ass in gear. It's like, they, it's like somebody gives them a shove because we got this meddler here. This is a meddler. So we got this meddler, meddler that delivers a message that uh, tells this person, you know, gives this person the um, clarity, okay? Gives this person the strength and the willpower and the discipline and the ability to <laughs> take back control of their life. It's like, I have to take back control of my life and I have got to go. I have got to go. So somebody is absolutely leaving. Okay, they're they're leaving a situation. They're getting in their vehicle. They're leaving. They're go about they're going to face some opposition. They're off, obviously going to face their fears as well. Um, somebody is heading in a new direction uh, after stalling for a really long time. It's like, and they know, they know, they receive the message, and they know that it is time. It's like they they just know. This person has been biding their time and waiting for the message, waiting for the right time, waiting for the clarity, and now the clarity has been received. I, I know what I got to do, and it's time to go. So this is, it's time to go. So somebody is leaving a situation. Let's get an oracle card of some sort. Let's go for this. Let's go for this one. What do we have for around the 16th? Keep in mind what I just said at the beginning. These tend to play out a couple days later. They do. They really do. So somebody is... Somebody also may have been seduced by another person. The high priestess is very seductive. 
They may have been seduced by another person. Somebody may have traveled to another person. I just got that message. And that's what that's what uh, this 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 meddler may deliver. This this meddler may say, you know, I saw them in the car with so and so, or with another woman, or another man, or something like that. The message might be something like that. Um, somebody's getting caught. Put it that way. Somebody is getting caught. Or they're about to reveal the truth. The shadow is, is going away. Okay? Something isn't going to be hidden anymore. The truth is coming out. About a deceptive situation. This person thought they were going to get away with it. And they are not. What do we got? The tribe, the tribe. What goes around comes around, by the way. It's an eight. Community, belonging, being seen and understood. Somebody has been seen by another person. And I know that's the case. I do, I know it. Somebody got seen. They got caught doing something that they weren't doing. They weren't supposed to be doing. And their partner is going to be told by this meddler. This meddler is actually, actually a blessing in disguise. Trust me. This card signals a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures. And we need to know we are useful to our tribes, families, and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels, I matter. You're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads, and there are times when you lead and the other person follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth is part of the dance. Yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You're in a perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be. Beware of compromising your integrity in order to belong. How do you dim your light or change yourself so others will accept you? Do you hide who you really are in order to play a role within the larger whole? This will never fulfill you. Somebody has been, and somebody could be lying to themselves. Just saying, somebody has been hiding their own truth, for sure. Anyway, do you hide who you really are in order to play a role within a larger whole? This will never fulfill you. Now is the time to assess your willingness to be real. Stand tall. Be you. Authenticity is a true expression and, only, and the only way to empower yourself. Don't be afraid to be yourself and step into the role your heart tells you to take. Making yourself small bears too high a cost. Find new people. Good luck.